Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about coated sweet and sour ranch pork chops. I know it sounds kind of weird, but trust me, I think you're going to like it. Now what I'm going to be baking today is not going to take very long. So what I'm going to do, I've already got a couple prepared. I'm going to put them in the oven right now. By the time we're done preparing the others, those should be ready to go. We're at a 425 degree oven. And let's get started. For sweet and sour ranch sauce, you can use any kind of sweet and sour sauce you want. I happen to like the sauce that we get on our snacks that we eat at night. I think these come out of the spring rolls. I love this stuff. And to that, we're going to add a little bit of ranch. I personally like Marie's Creamy Ranch. We're just going to take a couple spoonfuls of that. Also going to put a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper. Coming to you from Mansfield, Ohio today. First time I've done that one, huh? I've gotten married since y'all last saw me. Okay, all we're going to do now is stir this up. I'm hoping to get back into doing these videos on a semi-regular basis again. I don't know if I'll be doing it weekly like I was before, but I'd like to get some kind of a some kind of a schedule going here again. Joel and I are leaving. We're talking about the 28th of December, going back out to California, spend uh, January out there, and then come back here. All right, now that we've got that all mixed up, we need a breading for our pork chops. Normally, if you're going to do a chicken breast with this recipe, or if you're going to do maybe a thick pork chop, you're going to leave them in maybe 15 minutes. I've got real thin uh, pork chop cutlets. Now for breading, I'm going to use cereal. I happen to like Wheaties and Rice Chex, so I've got Wheaties and Rice Chex in a bag, and I'm just going to crush them up. And a rolling pan here. I don't have my tripod with me, so I don't know if you get this whole picture or not. I'm kind of doing it on the run here. All we're doing is crunching up some cereal. You can use your favorite cereal. For the bread. Like I said, I just happen to like Wheaties and Rice Chips, so that's what I'm using. Saying, if you're doing a thicker cut of meat like chicken breast or thick pork chop, something like that, 15 minutes, I'm thinking maybe 10 minutes on these because these are real thin. So we're going to take these and just spread them out on a plate. You can say you can use your favorite cereal. I'm using my favorite. going to spread these out on a plate and bring in our dressing. I'm going to take two little thin cutlets, pork chop cutlets. I'm just going to make sure you got the dressing on both sides. They're on there pretty thick. And we'll need one more plate. Now that I think about it, I probably should have put those in just a few minutes earlier because I think it's going to be we're going to be done before the chops are. Now all we're doing, breading it on both sides. And just go ahead and do a double bread so you make sure you got it. Got them all covered up. And normally you're going to be putting these in a... It's already uh, sprayed with cooking spray in a uh, baking dish. Like I've got the ones in there already. Even these out a little bit more. Like I said, I don't have I don't have my tripod with me, so I don't know if you're getting this complete picture or not. Hopefully you are. 
All right, and that is about it. Like I say, you put it in a 425 degree oven, normally 15 minutes. I'm thinking these are going to take 10, and I don't think it's even been 10 yet. We'll just do a little clean up here while we're waiting around. And send those, send those uh, recipes in to me. Let me know what you guys want to see. Tell me what your favorite recipe is. Let me do my take on it. Say I probably probably should have put them in earlier. I'm a learning. This is the first time I've ever used this particular combination with sweet and sour and ranch. I love both of them and together they sound good, so I'm thinking they're gonna be good. I was just gonna try that, but I've had got the raw pork in there, so I am not gonna do that. That's something you want to be careful of, folks. Do not want to cross contaminate. You want to keep chicken separate, pork separate. And once you've had raw beef is not a problem, but once you've had raw pork and or raw chicken in something, you've got to throw that stuff out. You cannot use it again. You're talking about getting salmonella poisoning, and that's 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 not a good thing. can show you what these look like before you put them in the oven. Hopefully you can see that fairly well. time if I'm going to do that put them in earlier. Like I said I'm coming to you from Mansfield, Ohio this time. Normally I'm coming to you from Chula Vista, California. But I drove 2,400 miles across the country and got married. Who knew? Actually planned on spending about three weeks back here and now it's been it'll be four months by the time we get back there. But found a wonderful woman and that's what I'm talking about. Tell you what we're going to do, folks. I don't know if these are going to be quite ready or not, but we're going to try it. These are really, really thin, so they may be all right. Just little thin pork chop cutlets. Now let's try... Get here. Yeah, they can still use a little bit more cooking, but this is what your finished product is going to look like. They're still going to be in there for another five minutes or so. So there you have it. You've got coated sweet and sour ranch pork chops. Hope you enjoyed this. Now you can tell your friends and family, they say les bon temps brûlés. Let the good times roll. If you happen to be new to my videos, and uh, well, nobody's seen them in two or three months because I haven't done any, but if you happen to be new and haven't seen them before, you can see all my uh, cooking recipes at my YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash Facebook cook. I've got, I think I've got 40 videos up there now. Like I say, let me know. What kind of recipes you want to see on these uh, on these videos? Send them to my Facebook page. Let me know what you want. So until next time, I'm getting ready to eat me some breaded, sweet and sour ranch pork chops. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>